Good morning. It's time for the the early morning broadcast that's not early morning and ain't never on time. So I don't know where the fuck little Timmy is this morning. So we got a, a little Timmy lookalike stand in. And I want y'all to give a, a, a good morning welcome because it's too early for your shit. All right. Welcome to the party. Our super producer, Big Dale. What's up, D? <laughs> Hey, hey, what's going on? What's Big going D. on? Big D, hold on. I got to put you out and bring you back. Give me one second. Sorry. I fucked up. I fucked up, Big D. Now I'm going to bring you back because, you know, we are the most unprepared, prepared show ever. <laughs> and that's what the hell we do. <laughs> Good, Always. Morning. Oh. Good hey, morning. Hey, what's going Everybody. on? What's, what's up? What's up, nigga boy? Oh, so, I'm out. I know you don't look like little Timmy because you are about um, 6'19", according to him. <laughs> your, ass is, your ass is too tall, baby. What's going on? How you uh, doing? Lee. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, you know. good. I'm going to stop yelling. Yeah. I don't know if my microphone working or not. Can y'all hear me? Can you hear me? Nobody know you on the mic. Don't nobody know I'm on the mic because that's what nah. I do. So, Big D. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. What's up? He said, who that Lester son? Good <laughs> 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 <Your mother, your laughs> Oh, man. I fucking don't hear with all these comedians on here now, goddamn. We ain't Listen, doing y'all don't take him down. Don't take him down, Jamal. What's <laughs> up? What's up, y'all? Good morning, Etienne. Listen, we can't find Lord Timmy, so Big Dale had to come and sit in his chair because Lil Timmy is missing. We gonna put an APB nah, nah. out. No, no, he, he let me know. He let me know he wasn't gonna be here. You know they had the S curl convention uh. in Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> he trying to get his S curl back. Lil yeah, Timmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know they they only they only sell it you know at certain places now. So he had to he had to be there. Good morning, Lil Bree. We live today, y'all. We had to be live because I had the producer on this morning. So this Bama was going to be tripping if I was late. I said 11. I had to come in at 11. So good morning, y'all. What up, Jamon? Good morning. Good morning. What's up, good I, people? I the, junk- the junkies must have stole Lord Timmy today. I don't know where that nigga is, Bree. He ain't calling in. Mm-mm. That's what happened when you work with junkies. No call, no show. Big deal. His car, so, so his, car, his car, he locked his keys in the car, so he's standing outside the car. So the, so people, he can't, he can't. So the people actually get to see your ass for the first time. How about what's that? Up? What's up? What's up, family? What's going on? I like to be behind the scene, but I'm going to be in front of the camera. Y'all call me the mouth. Y'all see I got my hand on the mouth. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, big D. He the mouth. What that what that mouth do? <laughs> Look, he gonna show his cup. He's so pressed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the party. How was your How was your weekend? You had a good my weekend. Week, my weekend was good. I was in Orlando. Shout out to Rashad El Amin and the folks over at Maduro because we went down there. Shout out to our new friend Flash out of New Jersey, who's also going to be uh, bringing a new show to the network. <laughs> so Tim McCarr got stolen. <laughs> We're so excited. Jamon said he on the bus. Y'all trifling. <laughs> Y'all trifling. Y'all petty as shit. Bad Wi-Fi. Bad, bad Wi-Fi on that don't, Baltimore bus. Don't get that nigga no breaks, because he don't give nobody no breaks. Okay? So fuck you, little Timmy, wherever you are. Okay? <laughs> yeah, dude. He had to, he he run the booth at the anti natural hair convention for Esker. <laughs> he yeah, running the booth. <laughs> Bree said, "Be nice to the super producer." All right, I'll be nice to him <laughs> just for now. But he don't get no breaks neither. That nigga six nineteen, but he's somewhere Thank else. You, so fuck him too. Cause you know why? <laughs> it's too early for this shit. For this shit. Let's go with it. Let's go. We're gonna talk about. Everything is absolutely yeah. nothing. Okay. Anything, no, I don't know shit. I'll be over here trying to find shit out. I don't know shit. Nothing. That's why you the producer, nigga. <laughs> we couldn't get a producer. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> hey, but since I'm on here, but since I'm on here, I can tell everybody, please like and share this feed. Tell a friend how to get in that and party part. with us and have a good time every day. That part right, right here with Nikki and little Timmy. Yeah. yeah. And today, me, the mouth. That's you. That's what we doing. That's exactly what that that mouth do. And Shout out what that y'all, mouth do. <laughs> y'all should also know that um wait y'all going in on Timmy's ass <laughs> <laughs> Timmy gonna see this in the be what look and she ain't say not the ass girl that <laughs> he do have a little baby ass girl don't know <laughs> we need to get a highlight of his picture and put it on this broadcast I swear to God <laughs> Timmy took Uber Breezy Timmy took Uber <laughs> oh, man. Listen. And the Uber driver, the Uber driver scared to turn around, stop whooping his ass. Not the nigga whoop the, uh, the Uber. <laughs> <laughs> he turned around, stop me. Oh my god! <laughs> we have got to find that. No. <sighs> that shit was no, no, that shit was crazy. Bree, the show I ain't even looked for no sponsors yet because we are prepared. We the most unprepared, prepared show ever. We gotta start looking for sponsors so we can get one. <laughs> We did talk to a uh, production company. I'm gonna, lay, I'm gonna lay back like this. I'm gonna lay back like this, and now we can get a uh, sponsorship from Trojan. Oh lord, <laughs> the non the non rubber commercial. That's, look, this is Trojans the morning after before. Okay, you you lay back like that. You ain't got to worry about I can do I can do the commercial. I can do the commercial. Mm. She fucked me so good. I need a plan B pill. <laughs> I am the plan B pill, cause look, look, we, we ain't fucking sip. nigga. <laughs> look, kid say he just saw little Timmy on BW Parkway pushing the trailer. <laughs> well, y'all stupid in the morning, bro. We hot in the morning. I love y'all. You <laughs> <get him>. <laughs> <laughs> pushing the stroll. <laughs> <laughs> You got static. Whatever the hell you got is brushing. Stop that noise. Yeah, okay, hold that stop. shit. It's my, it's my beard. Y'all trifling beard. going in on Lil' my, Timmy my like that. Go tea gang. Lil' Timmy, I just want you to know that I What's am up, big in the corner. Big Ho! He said, yeah, Trojan and Hennessy. They, only, <laughs> the only reason Trojan's going to hire him is because he is the birth control, Okay. When they back like that, nigga, your ass ain't getting that. All right? Whatever. That ain't Whatever. hot. That ain't hot, boo. Close All your right. eyes. I'm so, look, we're going to go in with the news with you today, uh, Big D. So, yeah, let's see what's going we on. had what some got stuff go? that we was going to talk about on Friday, but I was on the road. Little Timmy, I guess, was getting snatched because the motherfucker is totally missing. And we didn't get a chance to bring the show to you guys, so... We're going to do today what we were going to do on Friday. But let's start off because there's one thing, right, that that I always want to bring to you guys. And that is the dumb shit of the motherfucking day. I don't understand what it is about people, right? I don't understand why people enjoy the Waffle House. Waffle House is this. Waffle House is crazy. That's you crazy. If you ain't never had no all star, you ain't never ain't no motherfucking food. What is all star? It's an all star. You get waffle, you get a toast, you get eggs, you get your choice of meat. Oh my god, that should be bad. You get roaches, you get uh poison tomato. Let me tell y'all. It's just like it's just like up here in DC. Y'all go to a motherfucking um a carry out, get some wings at four o'clock in the morning. What the fuck think? What the fuck you think they got going on? Them 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 ain't even chicken wings. Listen. Let me explain. Them rat legs, them rat legs bent up. Them bent up rat legs. So this right here is proof positive no one should ever eat at a fucking Waffle House in life. Okay? Check this out. So we, we, this video, Earthquake, uh, Comedian Earthquake posted this video. Check it out. Look at that. It ain't playing, but there you go. Look at that. Mm. 
heavens to Murgatroyd. So what are you what are we looking at? We're looking at drippings. So we're looking at waffle drippings. You eat the at the waffle house. That's why you're asking that question. That's waffle house. That's waffle drippings. That's all you're saying. It's that dripping. Is, it's drippings from the waffle. That you is gonna go to a, you gonna go to a regular restaurant and see that. I used to I used to GM for um, Gladys Knight Chicken and Waffles. We had drippings on our waffles when we making waffles in the back. That's yeah. drippings from the waffle iron. That is infection. That is that staff. I, that just that just shit just drip. That's dripping. That, that you gonna see that at any blood. restaurant you work in. Uh, okay. any, anywhere you go eat, you're going to see drippings in the back. Ain't nobody got time to stop and keep wiping all that shit when they're trying to make y'all order. Let me tell you something. Anywhere I go eat, they got drippings like that. I'm not eating. Okay? I'm not eating. Not only am I not eating, you don't I'm, see I'm not it. saying. That little, cute ass, that little cute ass brunch place y'all go through, they probably got drippings all in that motherfucker in the back. Listen. I guarantee if, you that. If, if, if you don't if, want no if, drippings, then you better stay at home and eat. It don't look like that. It don't look like that. And this is clearly the justification of a Waffle House eater. Nobody's eating that. Man, you crazy. You crazy. It's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not where your food is. It's the drippings from where your food was made from. That your food, no, your food not touching the area. Sir, that's disgusting. That is that's just like if you disgusting. if you if you make if you make if you're making a waffle. <clears throat> If you're making if you're making a waffle and it drip off the side, you just they just take this little thing and they scrape around the outside of the waffle and it just drip down. But they don't, I mean, when you got 20, 30, 40, 50 people in your spot, you ain't got time to stop and sweep and wipe and do all that. You gotta keep making them waffles. Dude, I'm not eating that. I'm not eating that. That that might as well. You, you, eat that, you eat that carry out shit. You can't see what the hell they do back eat, there. I don't eat that either. Okay. And and it's different if you can see it. They, all be, right? putting, they be putting on them wings you be eating, they be putting Buddha, Buddha, Buddha juice on them and you be in the back. You, you still be eating them. Keep that shit out of sight, okay? As long as I don't know about it, I'm going to feel better about it, okay? They call it mumbo sauce. It's Buddha, it's Buddha, Buddha juice. Oh, Lord. Jamal said flatline. That's exactly fucking right. Because somebody going to die after they eat that. I bet you... I bet you about yeah, nobody 18 dying. out of 10 deaths each day are the result of eating fucking Waffle House. Shit, you crazy. Oh you crazy. Niggas well, die for that Waffle House down there. They, they just like that shit. Y'all like, be going to eat them motherfucking um, pieces after y'all leave the club with them big ass slices of pieces. What the uh, hell you think? You think all them pepperonis? You think all them pepperonis was in a hygiene place before they put them on that motherfucker? Lil Bree say Big Dale should be on the show more often. Big Dale is crazy, okay? <laughs> Big Dale is eating waffle drippings out this motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't no waffle drippings, but I'm going to go in that motherfucker. Hey, look, I'm going to go in that motherfucker. I'll tell you, every time I leave the club when I'm in the A, hey, shout Hey, I order my motherfucking all star <laughs> with my motherfucking all tell they keep the toes. I get my motherfucking eggs and I want extra sausages. God you must That's be what I want. You fucking eyes closed because that shit is hideous. I tell and you, a motherfucker, and a motherfucker sweet tea. <laughs> yeah, nigga, I'm a diabetic. Fuck it. <laughs> boo, the booty juice. Boo, the booty juice. He in here making up shit. That is terrible. <laughs> so the Waffle House yeah. plate. Jamal say the Waffle House plate be beige. Do it supposed to be white? What color is it? <laughs> is, it is it beige or is it grayish? It's it's white, and it depends. It depends. It depends on it depends on how long the Waffle House has been in existence on the color of the plates, because oh, they keep no. their prices at a compatible rate. Wait, comp competing with who? The funeral home? <laughs> Who's the competition? What are you competing for? A funeral? I mean, you got IHOP, you got IHOP, you got Denny's. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of breakfast places around. No, I can't even imagine. I cannot I, imagine. That's disgusting. That is I guarantee. Nasty. I guarantee you go to the A shout it or something. You go to the A somewhere, shout it, you're gonna eat that waffle house. You're gonna be like, this some you gonna be like, this some good shit. <laughs> you are nasty. That's what you're gonna be saying it like because you can't talk normal no more. <laughs> Big D, uh uh Bree said Big Bell <laughs> in the Libra gang, so he needs to be here. How you know he a Libra? Leave you know, yourself, September 27th. You know what it is. 
September the 27th, Labor Gang, all Hello. day, every day. The scales are balanced. <laughs> uh. So what's so what's the next story we talk about? Let's leave the Waffle House alone. No, y'all leave the Waffle House alone, and I'm okay. gonna leave y'all motherfucking um fake right, ass so. Chinese Buddha Buddha juice wings alone. All right, so the dumb shit of the day award goes to the Waffle House. What we gonna figure out what that is? That shit ain't dumb. Later shit, okay, on. the dumb shit. The dumb shit of the, the day is for them big ass slices of pizza waffle. on U Street and in Adam Morgan that y'all be it. eating four in the morning and talking about they got um, Italian sauces on them and that be rat booty drippings. Wait, Jamal, <laughs> say the Waffle House is the dollar store <laughs> for breakfast. <laughs> Damn right, and everybody hear that motherfucker. <laughs> yes. Wait a minute, you be uh uh Big Who say he be in Alabama next. He can't wait. Waffle House for breakfast. Waffle House. Hey, tell, hey, Big, hey Big Who, get you the get you the All Star. Get you the All Star, bro. Get you the All Star. Call us and let it know how it is. Waffle House and bullets, boo. Waffle House and bullets. Nah, no thank you. John Daniels said from VA down to Florida, Waffle House is the shit. Waffle House is something. Come on, John. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Tell him, bro. Tell him stop playing with it. All right. Tell that's him it. Waffle House is some shit. Boom. That's it. So. Waffle House, ain't, Waffle House ain't for y'all booby, bougie motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. So we had this story from Friday that we didn't get a chance to get to. Uh, Nancy Pelosi shut down 45 again. Again. So she What's went she in and jumped petty on uh, the 45's abortion. I mean, sorry, listen, I'm on abortion. On uh, uh, immigration bill. Apparently she says that the immigration bill simply uh, serves to make America white again. Who don't know that? So she can't jump petty, right? She threw a little shade at the president's wife. Um, she said... <laughs> She said she wondered if the immigration policy aims to make America white again. And in the process, she wanted to know if uh, it applied to the president's uh, wife's family, who are immigrants who are, I guess, allow have been allowed into the country. I don't know, but I just think that Nancy has, has been very, very successful in shutting down 45. She seems to be the only person, she's like the 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 duck Trump whisperer, right? Because she seems to be the right. only person who has came for him and shut him down as indicated in this image that we have. This is an image from back when he was doing the uh, presidential uh, State of the Union. And she ain't going for nothing with him. This way he had the babies in jail and shit. And, and she said, as long as we are having this go on, we will not be going into uh, the State of the Union address. Yeah, he's the, he, he be on that bullshit. And, that, and that's what it is. It sound, it, and it sounds like some old bullshit, like, okay, we're we, we going to control the immigrants. Go ahead. Because we don't want to let, let people in unless we bring them in like they brought us in back in the day. You did. Like they, 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 don't, they don't want you to come in on your own. They want to bring you in. Ah, uh, correction, Crazy. guys. I that's not this picture is not about the immigration. This picture was from the State of the Union. It right is an old picture. The government shut down. She says, as long as the government is shut down, you won't be addressing the union. That's what that was. I made a mistake. I was, I was proud of her for that shit. I was yeah. like, yeah, keep your punk ass up out of here. You yeah. know, you don't do this bullshit. You can't come and talk in my motherfucking house, nigga. With your bitch ass. No bitch ass. Oh, nigga. <laughs> That's her giving them a oh, clap. Fucked right? up ass 45. Oh, fucked up 45 ass nigga. Little bitch ass. Nigga, so, nigga. Yeah. Fuck that we, nigga. Let's talk about something. Man. I don't want to talk about no fucking dog. Fuck that nigga. He fuck says 45. That Wait, Jamon said that a two eleven still reserve you drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is because that's the only thing you. That's the only thing you can use to wash down that motherfucking Waffle House. <laughs> I ain't in the A. You know Waffle. I just ate. I just ate some of them goddamn um, yeah, right. rat wings. Rat wings with that motherfucking Buddha Buddha juice on them. Jamon I like said, them toothpicks. Don't be giving a fuck about smart news. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't 
<laughs> okay, Jamon, no racialist shit to both fuck them Julios. Shut your ass up. Hey, okay. you need somebody to cut your grass, goddamn. You know they they the new they the new us. We too we too good to do that shit now. <laughs> they they do all that shit now. That's what DL you need. Your home, you, need, you, you, need, you, need you need your roof at home. You need your roof at home. Give me fifteen minutes. Okay, you need to work on. You need to work on your motherfucking Mexican. Okay, your Mexican accent sound like Mexican by way of Atlanta. My raza, my raza. That's the. <laughs> that's because I've been up here eating that motherfucking Buddha Buddha juice. I can't talk. That's Mexican what it no is. You never could. <laughs> <laughs> never could. All right, y'all. So it's Money Monday, and we don't have no Money Monday story. We just wanted to say that because the caption on this video as of this moment says Friday with friends, which was <laughs> Friday's show. And y'all know we are the most unprepared, prepared show ever. And if you so, don't and if you don't know what the fuck the day is, goddamn, that's your fault. You know we ain't gonna be right with shit. Goddamn, <laughs> you think today Friday, fuck it, it's Friday. Don't go to work tomorrow. Oh my God. So here's the other thing. Kamala Harris is in the news over the weekend. I don't, I don't, I'm going to tell y'all that story later because the shit is funny. I got to go find it. But beyond that, uh, you know, I know Dale don't want to talk about this, but I do because as always, Yeezy, Yeezy has put a oh. new spin Listen, stop hating on Yeezy, sir. Stop hating oh, on Yeezy. Man, nobody, man, nobody hating on the uh, illiterate dumb motherfucker. Ooh, Fuck him. Oh, wait a minute. He be doing the, he be doing the dumbest shit in the world, and then now y'all want to act like y'all like him because he put a motherfucking robe on talking about Jesus. No, no, that's not why we like that nigga. We He's like stupid, that nigga man. for a whole other set of reasons. Let me tell you why we he, like him. Why we, we like him? Because he support, because he support Donald Trump. No, I didn't even say I like him, but people like him because he is newsworthy. The nigga always doing some crazy shit. And recently, Kanye has put a completely different spin. Kanye West has his entire security team driving in Lamborghinis. Okay? This so motherfucker you know is... He has so put... Wait, no, he has go, go ahead, go ahead. money wasted to a whole new level. Okay, this nigga got everybody in his entourage driving Lamborghinis like he the, he think he the, the president, right? And you know how they move the you know football they, right? shit. they move the football around and because they don't know which car to shoot up. So this motherfucker know somebody trying to kill his ass. So he got everybody in the same car just in case. I mean... From a security standpoint, that's smart, but you wouldn't have all Lamborghinis. I mean, that's that's a money waste when you got people out here that that you know that's starving and you're going when you're supposed to be such a, a conscious a conscious brother and a, a philanthropist, but you got people you riding around in all Lambo. I mean, we want to talk about crazy motherfuckers. We can go down on Georgia Avenue and Seventh Street and catch motherfuckers on the X two and make them popular. Shit. Okay, first of all, if you see the X two on Georgia Avenue or Seventh Street, you going the motherfucking bus driver is crazy. Okay, because the X two rides up and down Eighth Street. They don't oh, go. Okay, to I'm on the wrong street. You know I ain't from here, but it's all right. That's the ninety bus. You know why? You know why? That nigga ain't from I, mean, I said I, I used to catch the ninety bus. I used to catch the ninety bus. That's probably why I said I used to catch the ninety all the time. That's why. I died. But I used to catch the X X two sometimes. Yeah. But anyway, okay. wait. What Netflix show? Now we ain't seen no Netflix show, Bree. What Netflix show? Okay, Jamal. I don't know who you're asking. Is they hiring? But probably the answer is no. Anyway. So, oh, you talking about Kanye? Oh, I'm Kanye, yeah, hell yeah, I'm with you. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm, on, I'm worth for a dumb ass. They I'm not drive a Lamborghini. Too. Yeah, big, big D come. Everybody get scared. They not messing with you. Well, my big, my big ass won't fit no Lamborghini though. I have to have a driver for my Lamborghini. Are they small? Hell yeah, yeah, they small. They it's just like you see them niggas. It's it's some nigga that be riding around DC in a motherfucking Bentley with his stomach driving a uh, steering wheel. Shut a little bit up. of that Bentley Coop. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, you spent all that money to look like a, a fat fool. <laughs> <laughs> a fat no, fool. No. That, nigga, that nigga car, that nigga car look like he got a, a biker short car. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, y'all, shout out to Yeezy. Man. I ain't hate no Yeezy. 
So, oh no, she talking about the Netflix show when they see us. No, what what was that about? I heard about it, but I don't know what that's that was about. about really. That was about them young men that um got falsely accused. Of oh, rape the uh, in New York. I haven't watched it yet. I, yeah, I gotta watch the, it. Um, Central Park Five, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, I gotta watch that one. I gotta watch that one, Brie, for sure. I definitely yeah. gotta watch that. I just I seen the advertisement on it yesterday, but I was busy already looking at a um. I was going back over season 14 of um, Housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you threw me all the way off the ballot. You threw me entirely all the way off. That nigga said like he watched some series. I said that shit like I watched some series. <laughs> he said season 45. Y'all, um, Anytime a man cries, this ain't got nothing to do with nothing we're talking about today. But anytime a man cries, I think it's wonderful. So I just want to um, give a big shout out to Juan Dixon for being named the head coach at Michigan. He cried on television, and I think I had an orgasm. <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get moist. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm all right. Thank you. Oh, boy. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> oh boy. Hey, don't forget to tell a friend. Don't forget to tell a friend to join in. Got them like, share, tell a friend. Got them when they ain't work, they ain't doing shit no way. They don't do no work till lunchtime, so they might well come on and look at the show. Got them share. They don't do no work till till payday, <laughs> nigga. Like, <laughs> I think you give people way too much. Okay? So then when they jump on that boot and see if their money hit the account, that's on time they touch the laptop. <laughs> or and to make sure, I, okay, I'll give them the day before payday. The day before payday. <laughs> Y'all, okay, we got to get to this right here. So um, over the weekend, there was an incident. Yeah, Bri, I know that. I'm sorry. Bri said something about Lil Wayne's birthday. Yeah, I did know that. Libras are very talented people. I, I thank you for bringing that to the uh, show's attention so people can understand that we are very talented people. We're very balanced and we're very, uh, we're just awesome, man. I'm gonna, I want to thank my mom and my dad for having sex on the day that they did so I can be born as a Libra. Thank you, mom and dad. That is so extra. <laughs> <laughs> That is so extra. Ooh, Jawan yeah. Howard, punk ass, they about to lose like shit. Why? He not good? Oh, that's dirty. That's dirty, Jamon. Give this nigga some kudos, okay? Shit, black man. You look, you look like a deal give and say, um, give a, a will a tic tac when you stuck your finger in your mouth like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it was like, too. <laughs> <laughs> right, DJ Lewis shirt to cry the next time I come by. Me and Big D coming. We coming, Big Who. We coming on the show. We gonna we come. come hey, yeah, we coming, Big Who. We gonna come on the show and turn up with you. Yeah, let us I know. Might bring my, I might bring my disposable pen with me. Uh, uh, you are uh, what, what, uh, I just need to come. What we gonna do? Let me know. What we gonna yeah, do? Yeah, I'm gonna... They got everything there. You don't need nothing. Oh, I'm I'm on the way. Yeah, I'm gonna be a regular. I'm gonna be a regular. On the show. They only got. Hey, what you doing here? You ain't on the show today. I just want to be here to help they support. They only got everything the first visit. Okay, you're not gonna be getting shit free ever. <laughs> okay, we got one more story, and we gotta get the hell out of here. But here's the thing: this happened this weekend, guys, and it tripped me out. Hold on, What's hold that? on, y'all. My brother calling me. Kevin, you okay? Okay, I'm a kid. Give. I gotta go. No, he, All right, we he, gotta he cut. The niggas the so we'll talk about Kamala Harris' big thing over the weekend. I mean, on tomorrow. Shout out sure. to everybody. Big D, take us out. I'm going to drop from here, and you close it, okay? I don't know. Okay, I, 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 I try to close it. I just want... Hey, just, just close out, man. Thank y'all for joining us today. Don't forget to look and join us every day, Monday, Monday, through, Monday through Friday. 
um, sometime after 10, ho hopefully by 11, no later than 11, because you know we, we ain't going to be on time and ain't shit going to be perfect. But we love y'all. Thank y'all for joining us. Man, this is Nikki, and this is the producer. I'm normally not on here, but I just want to say have an amazing day. Have an amazing week, and we'll see y'all tomorrow, man. Love y'all. Peace.